The beautiful weather Saturday morning was the perfect way to start off the 23rd annual Jessica Fatakil Pride Parade. Kendall Larson takes us through peace, love and pride. The streets of the recently paved Riverfront Drive were filled with all generations to watch the Jessica Flatical Pride Parade. I've done this parade for so many years, but it never fails to take my breath away. Some might recognize the lady leading the Pride Parade as Maria Bavacqua, a longtime volunteer for the Mankato Pride Celebration and widow of Jessica Flatical, who the parade is now named after. I see the, the fruits of her many years of labor every time I walk in that parade. The excitement from the gathered crowd was obvious. Everyone was smiling, waving their pride flags, and hugging parade walkers as they came by. Pride got started as a commemoration of Stonewall, but it has grown into such a huge celebration uh, of its own. Among the parade queue were many churches and organizations that came out to show their support of the pride movement. Uh, the churches have been spectacular. The churches in this area have been very welcoming and affirming, and that's been also a great thing to see. We just want to show our community that we um, love our community, we love our patients, we love our employees, and we want to be part of the Pride celebration here today. Pride in Mankato has changed a lot since it first started in the early 2000s when organizers were unsure if people would attend due to the stigma of the time. Over time, it's like that, that fear has uh, lost its grip. Now, due to the hard work of generations before them, young and old can show their pride. You're valid. Like, pride means that you're valid in everything you do. Don't let others tear you down just because who you are. So this year, it's all about peace, love, and pride. It's about pride in ourselves and our ability to be who we want to be and love who we want to love. Take pride in who you are every single day. In Mankato, Kendall Larson, KYC News Now. Not even a train could stop Saturday's Pride. In this video, hundreds of parade goers found their own fun as they waited for a train to pass through. South Central Minnesota Pride will continue doing monthly events throughout the year to keep celebrating love, peace, and pride. To learn more, visit KUIC.com.